Hi everyone, this is Jackie, and I'm gonna take you through this rainbow tree of life painting. I know a lot of you were interested in doing it and couldn't make it with the the Zoom that we did last night with State College Young Professionals, so I'm happy to do it again and, and you can watch this on your own time and pause it as you need to. So first I recommend getting a paper plate or some sort of circle stencil, a bowl works. Um, I cut out uh, the edges of a paper plate and what we're going to do um, for our swirlies, I just leave this this plate here so I know um, where to keep my swirlies. It helps keep it a nice circle if you don't trust yourself to make a, a circle on your own. And then we're going to have that empty space for our tree. So colors, I've got the primary colors and black and white. So red, yellow, and blue black and that's more than enough white than we need. Um, all we need the white for is to make a little highlight for our tree trunk. If you prefer, you can cover your canvas all in white paint first and then let it dry if you don't like the idea of painting on a just a bare naked canvas there. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started right on my, uh, this is an 11 by 14 canvas. So I took a regular like dinner size paper plate and just kind of cut the, the edge off and I'm gonna place it right there um, wherever I want that tree to be. So I've got, I've got a decent amount of space on the edges for my swirlies, right? All right, so I'm gonna start my swirlies with yellow paint. I'm gonna use this little flat angled brush. You might wanna test out um, different brushes on some scrap paper or your tablecloth. I'm gonna start with yellow because I can work other colors into it as we go along. So what I recommend is um, for these swirlies, kind of choosing the direction um, that you're gonna swirl in. My, my swirls go counterclockwise. So I'm just gonna press, it, press my brush and then pick it up um, as I go around. So I have like this thick beginning and then a tail. And that's kind of the general idea, right? So my swirlies go this way and kind of go outwards. And we're just gonna have fun with color, right? You don't have to follow along exactly. Um, some people in the Zoom last night, they didn't have all the colors, so they focused on, you know, blues and greens and purples. So this is great to do with, you know, whatever color paints you have. And just make it, make it what you want it to be. This is your, this is your little painting here. Okay, so you can kind of see how I'm getting that, that swirly, almost like a, the, that hurricane symbol on the weather map. All right, so I've got that yellow in my brush so I can take advantage of that and start smudging in some red so I can get some oranges, some orange colors. And don't be shy with getting up um, close with your other swirly marks. Um, the tip here for the swirlies is to keep the, the colors densely packed together. I wanna, I wanna really cover up as much white in my swirls. So my swirls are nice and snugly uh, close together there. And that is a really red orange. So I'm gonna add more yellow here. And don't be, don't be worried if your colors kind of smudge and mix together. That's what's kind of fun about this. We can just kind of do anything. So the thing about painting directly on canvas without any kind of base color or prime color is you might get kind of like scratchy textures. Um, if that's something you don't like, you're just going to have to go heavy with the paint. Um, and giving it a, a prime coat in, in white and letting it dry might help as well. All right. I'm actually going to wipe off my excess paint. Oh, sorry, bumped into my camera. I'm gonna wipe off that extra paint and I'm just gonna go into straight red right now. I don't really need to rinse my brush the red will overpower that any orange that I have left. Just go into that red paint, start adding some red swirlies. All 
Hope everybody is doing well wherever they are. Um, today is a, a Saturday. And uh, let's see, yesterday we had snow in State College. It looks a little gray and cold out there today, but I'm hoping that we get some nice warm weather. So you can see I'm just building up my swirls. They're getting, as I add more color, I'm covering up more and more of that white. Um, I have red in my brush, so I can take advantage of that and start working on a purple by smudging in some blue into that brush. Grab some more red. And depending on the red and blue that you have, or maybe you have straight purple paint, and that's that would be great too. But depending on the blue and red that you have, your purple might be kind of wonky. But we're just doing whatever we got around the house right now, right? And I have no no plan here. I'm just kind of putting my swirls wherever I kind of want them to be, right? Covering up that white. All right. I'm going to wipe off that excess purple. Get off as much of that as I can. And I'm going to go into my blue. Get some blue swirls in here. If I bump into my yellow and I turn green, that's totally fine with me. We're getting our swirlies on. Cool. All right. I got blue in my brush. That means I can start making a green, and that would be my pretty much my last color for these swirlies. So I have that blue. I'm gonna go into some yellow and get some green. All right. I really want to focus in on any area that's just kind of white. Oh, that's a nice bright green. That's cool. All right. Something like that, folks, right? Again, you can emphasize any color you want more than another. I think I want, I don't know, I'm just kind of, I don't know, maybe I want more purple. So I'm going to wipe off my excess paint. I don't know if you can hear that my cat is scratching her ear. So that's all I hear right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go in some more purple. Why not? All right, a little over here. We got a little more over here. Something like that. I don't know, right? All right, so now I can lift my um, circle off, my, my stencil, and I've got a nice blank space there for my tree to be. And don't worry if, it, you know, your circle's not perfect or you got little smudges, it, it doesn't really matter. This is a really forgiving sort of painting where just smudges of color kind of make it work. So we're going to move on to our tree trunk now. We want to kind of let our swirlies dry, um, at least get a little tacky before we put on our um, foliage. So um, I still have my, my flat um, angled brush. That's going to be really helpful for my, my tree here. 
Um, I don't need to wash my brush because the black paint will kind of go over whatever we've got going on there. So I'm just going to get the black worked into my bristles here. And if we look at the original painting, um, what I love about these kinds of trees is that they're, they're kind of gnarly and twisted. You know, they're not perfect. So we got this nice kind of backwards S shape that I want to emphasize right here. So I'm going to start there. And I'll start kind of up here. And I'm going to kind of um, mimic that curve in the circle, right? And that's going to help us have harmony with our swirls. So my S curve will start up here. I'm going to kind of follow that, that curve in the circle and then bang a left, bang a right. And now we've got that tree trunk, or at least the, the basic shape of that, of that tree trunk. So I can start pulling out my roots over here. Again, that, that angled brush is really going to help me with those fine lines, but you can use whatever brush is going to work for you. Also, a Sharpie might be helpful if you have one. And then I can just kind of thicken up my tree trunk. And by the way, if I'm going too fast because this is not a live video, I'm just kind of recording myself, please just, you know, press that pause button and take your time. Take your time with this tree. I like bringing those roots out kind of like you can go to the right, bring them over to the left. And have fun, right? Maybe your maybe your roots are more curly cues, maybe your roots are more angled and straight. This is your tree. Can you hear my cat meowing? If you can, what she's saying is she's starving and that she needs help. <laughs> Send help, they're starving me here. All right. I don't know about you, but my, now that I'm home all the time, my cat thinks that she needs to be fed all the time, which makes sense. I want to be fed all the time. Okay. Just having fun with my roots down here. All right, so let's let's do some of these branches. Again, this this tree is not perfectly smooth. I like kind of like how it's kind of twisted and lumpy, maybe. Okay. Um, and for our branches, so so much of our tree is going to be these the foliage that we get to. So I don't have to worry too much about like perfect branches with lots of little uh, secondary twigs and things. I don't have to worry about that because so much of our tree is going to be these beautiful rainbow foliage, right? So we're just kind of given the, the basic idea that these branches are here, supporting our lovely leaves. And in fact, we don't want to go too crazy with the black branches because um, we risk, you know, smudging our, our colors later in those leaves. Cool. I feel good about that. So with, with that black in my brush, what I'm going to do now is, well, first of all, if I have a big old glop, I can wipe that off. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into the white paint and I'm going to get a nice, very, very light gray. Um, you can even use pure white, but I'm going to start adding some texture and details to that trunk. Let's see if I can bring this up close so you can see. So I'm just using that that edge of my bristles and I'm just gonna kind of add little squiggles and little fun little suggestions of texture and detail and highlight for our nice gnarly tree here. Something like that. I love me some texture on a tree. Makes me happy. I wish I love that texture forming around my eyes and mouth as I get older. But we are all just wrinkly trees, right? All right. 
So now I got me some texture on my tree. Oh, that's unfortunate. Make a little knot there. How about that? There we go. Nice gnarly tree. All right, I definitely want to uh, wipe off the excess paint from my brush. Give my brush a rinse. I'm gonna move on to a different brush for my leaves. I'll give that, give that one a rest here. Um, I'm gonna move on to, if I can find it. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to this brush. It's a smaller angled um, flat brush. And I'm, I like this one because I know that when I use it as like a stamp, I like, I like what happens when I use it as a stamper. So this is, this is the brush I used um, to make these um, leaves here. So if you have different brushes, practice like what kind of stamp does that make? Um, how, how, what kind of leaf imprint will it make if I hold it like this? What kind of leaf imprint will it make if I hold it like this? And um, if, if you have only big brushes, say you have a brush like this, you know, what kind of imprint will it make if I just touch the corner, just the very little corner of it? Or maybe, you know, straight up and down for big old, big long leaves, okay? So just have fun kind of practicing with what you've got, okay? Ideally, this would be drying a bit more. Um, so you might want to take a pause, a pause button break and um, give uh, a chance for this to dry. And uh, I'm gonna just push through and kind of be careful of the glops of paint that I still have on my swirlies here. Um, for my leaves, I'm gonna start working with red. I'm gonna start with my red paint, my straight red, and that's gonna be in sort of this right corner here. And then from that red, I can make a wine color. So let's just start with that pure red. So I'm just gonna stamp. So if I hold my brush like this, I get almost like a circle. So maybe I don't want a circle. I'm gonna, I can hold it more at an angle. I can hold it like this. It's really up to me what kind of imprint I want. And just like our um, swirlies, I recommend keeping these colors densely packed together. Um, so you can see I don't have a lot of white showing, right? So I just kind of keep building, building this up. And don't be shy. Um, you, yours should be dry right now, right? Maybe you, you took your break to let it dry. My swirlies are not dry, but I, I don't want to be too shy. I can go up into my swirlies and put leaves there. And don't be, don't be afraid to kind of give a random leaf that's kind of hanging out by itself. All right, so now to get this wine color down here, all I'm gonna do is add some blue. Just a little bit of blue. And that'll give me a, a wine color. So it's a purple, but it's more red than blue. Yeah, ooh, and then I can kind of work it into the red that's already there. Ooh, yeah, I like this. I love that kind of transition from the red to the wine. Nice. Okay, um, I want to wipe off my excess paint. Actually, no, I forgot. So actually, yeah, keep that paint on there. Um, we wanna take advantage of that paint. We're actually gonna bang a left and we're just gonna add more blue to this color to start working on this color over here. So this is just the same red and blue paints together, except I have more blue in this one and then we can move on into our straight blue up here. So I'm working with that same uh, red wine color, but I'm just adding more blue now. I don't know why I look green. Am I picking up yellow somewhere? Let's, let's try to fix this here. There, that's what we want, I believe. Just a little bit more red. All right, so now we're more purpley than wine. Let's see what we got. 
Uh, it's still a little bit too blue for me, but I can just add more red. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Yeah. So then I can start adding more blue to transition to the pure blue. Again, I'm keeping these leaves pretty densely packed together. Yeah, I'm liking that. So now I'm pretty much pure blue. And then once I start working in the pure blue, I can add yellow to transition to a green. So now I've got a green going on here. And I can start popping that in to transition to a green. And I can just keep adding more and more yellow. Because eventually we want to get to our pure yellow stage. here. Now I'm really up in the yellow because I don't I don't have a lot of time to get to yellow and orange. So let's really turn up our yellow game here. All right, so now I'm really running out of space. I do want to clean that brush so I can get in some pure yellow. So I'm going to wipe off that excess paint and give my brush a good clean rinse. So we can get into some pure yellow here. All right, I'm going into pure yellow and I'm gonna make sure that pure yellow gets an opportunity to shine here. Oh, I picked up some black fully. <laughs> so that's why it's good to, you guys are gonna need that opportunity to let yourself, your canvas dry, put it on there, that hair dryer, okay. So you can see I picked up some black here, but you know what? Who cares? This is my painting. I'm just gonna accept it and improve it. That's the yes and mentality that improv has taught me. All right, so I've got this pure yellow. I want to make sure that I move over into my greens to get that transition. That's a nice little blend. Wipe off my brush get back into that yellow and work in an orange with some red here, so red and yellow, to get this orange transition. Yeah. Something like that, right? I'm a little muddy because I didn't let it dry, but you get the idea. And kapow. That is the rainbow tree of life. So have fun with this one, guys. This is super fun, really good to do with the family. Um, you can do it with crayons, you can do it with markers, colored pencils. Uh, again, starting with that, um, uh, help me out, uh, stencil, that circle stencil in the middle, get your swirls around there, and then that little S, backwards S shape to our tree. And then poop, 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 poop for these. Did I just say poop, poop, poop? I did. Um, for, for the leaves. How about doot, 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 doot? That's better. Yeah. So starting with that red, transition into the wine, bring it over to the left, more blue for some purple, transition to blue, and yellow and green and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I hope you had fun with that one. Um, please post your, your photos, uh, either uh, on the Facebook or where I'm going to put this on my, my YouTube playlist, but, um, I love seeing your finished products. So enjoy guys. Thanks for watching.